Hello, welcome to the 2015 football preview for the GLIAC Conference at Tiffany University Football. I'm Russell Snyder, voice of the Dragons, alongside head coach Gary Goff. Coach, how are you doing today? Doing wonderful. How are you? I'm doing excellent. Fall camp's right around the corner, so you've got to be just chomping out the bit to get started, aren't you? Oh, I can't wait. We've got a team camp on campus this week, and it was fun to be out there with those young men last night. But it really gives you the itch. You want, we want our players on campus right now, and uh, we're exactly two weeks away from report date. Well, two weeks away from report date. The season gets started on a Thursday, first week in September. We'll touch on that in a little bit. Let's talk about the team, though, first. Last year, some, some great highs, some lows, but really building some great excitement coming into this year. Let's talk about the offensive side of the ball first. Everybody knows about our quarterback, Antonio Pipkin. Let's talk about some of the other key players you have on the offensive side. Sure. We, you know, we're uh, really excited about this upcoming season simply because we've got nine returning starters mm -hmm. on offense. You know, so we lost uh, Tyler Jones, slot receiver that graduated, obviously, and then uh, Lorenzo Lepe, our left guard. Uh, but we got two great young men kind of filling in in those shoes. I mean, one, there's going to be a great battle, that slot receiver position between Jalen Santoro mm -hmm. and Austin Rankin. And then at, uh, on the offensive line, last year we were able to redshirt five offensive linemen. That's a problem you didn't have before, isn't so, it? Oh, it's great. <laughs> it's great. Um, you know, this will be the first time uh, that we've ever had 15 scholarship offensive linemen. Wow. So we're going to have some great competition right there for that, that left guard position to feel from uh, Lorenzo leaving. But – the other positions as well. I mean, it's going to make everybody better. Yeah, some depth on the offensive line is uh, something we've been looking for since you first got here. We came in at the same time. And, yeah, the offense uh, looking really nice to be very productive this year. Also got to stop people on the other side of the ball. Let's talk a little about the defensive side. Yeah, on the defense side, we're returning uh, nine starters from mm -hmm. a year ago. Um, we got some key transfers on that side of the ball as well. Really think we did a great job beefing up our defensive line. We were also able to uh, redshirt uh, a handful of defensive linemen last year as well. Mm -hmm. So um, excited about that side of the ball as well. We think uh, we're a lot better on both sides of the ball. Um, of course, you know, on paper. Yes. You know, uh, this time of year, everybody thinks they're really yeah. good. Um, but I can tell you that we're very excited about the depth, the competition we got at every single position. That's going to make us even that much more better. And, um, you know, each year is different. It's a different nucleus of a team, and uh, there's a lot that goes into it. So. We're excited to see how we can get this group to gel together and, uh, and be a force to reckon with. We talked about offense. We talked about defense. Let's touch on special teams a little bit. You got your kicker coming back. Yes, we do. Yes. Thomas Slav will be a senior. Um, he's done a great job this past offseason. He lost probably 30 pounds. Okay. Um, which will, you know, he's always had a really strong leg, mm -hmm. but this will allow him to follow through and uh, hopefully be, you know, more consistent. Um, I, I really think he's one of the best kickers in the conference, but um, I'm, I'm looking forward to watching him this camp and into the early parts of the season because he might be able to compete for one of the, one of the all Gliac conference sure. know, uh, players mm -hmm. at that position. All right. Now coaching staff, there's always changes every year. You know, coaches get different offers. You bring in new people. Talk about your coaching staff. Any changes this year? Um, you know, really just one. You know, um, we got uh, John Marokian's going to be our new offensive line coach. Coach, uh, he was a four-year starter at Toledo. Um, he actually coached at Finley for a little bit. Went back to Toledo as an offensive line assistant. So uh, we're we're excited to have him join the staff. He's got a lot of knowledge. Uh, Toledo mm -hmm. runs a similar style offense, kind of a spread offense mm -hmm. like we do. So uh, we're really excited about him. Um, he's excited about you know the young men we've got at that offensive line position to compete. Um, so you know a great addition to the staff right there. I really believe he's going to make us better. Not a whole lot of time left here, Coach, but playing in the GLIAC Conference is a total bear. We know that. Talk a little bit about the conference. It's going to be great as usual. Well, no doubt. I mean, you, you're going to have the Grand Valleys, the ODUs, the Ferris States, mm -hmm. uh, Saginaw, Wayne State, I mean, Finley. I mean, the you know, yeah, yeah, and now Tiffins. It's fun to be talked with amongst Absolutely. those elite teams. But, you know, it, it's a tough conference. I mean, there's, there's probably going to end up being four or five teams nationally ranked um, preseason and throughout the season. So, you know, we really got to focus on ourselves focus on one week at a time, focus on that opponent of the week, and not worry about the, what's down the road for us. Um, and if we do a good job doing that, uh, I tell them all the time, don't, don't watch the scoreboard. You mm -hmm. worry about playing one play at a time. So we really focus on breaking down the season the same way. Let's worry about that one, one, one game that week, and uh, as long as we're 1-0 and that week, we're fine. <laughs> Absolutely. The key word for the Dragons 2015 football season, I think, is the word depth. And it's going to be a great way to get it started on a Thursday night. Uh, I believe it's September 3rd. September 3rd. We get the season started. A little bit different for your kids. Just touch on that for about 5, 10 seconds. Yeah, you know, it's been a long time since uh, we've opened up the season with a night game. So uh, having a home game, 
Uh, Thursday night game to kick it off uh, right there after school's been in session for about a week, week and a half. Already a lot of excitement. Can't wait to get the student body out there and, uh, and watch us kick the season off. Excitement right around the corner. If you'd like more information on Tiffany University football, go to GoTiffinDragons.com. All the information you need on our coaches, our players, and the football program. He's Gary Goff, head coach of Tiffany University Football Dragons. I'm Russ Snyder, voice of the Dragons, and this has been our GLIAC preview of Tiffany University football.